Bye, what's going on YouTube? So Southern Fat Ass Packers coming back at y'all for another video. And uh, he just wants to say what the hell is going on with y'all. Y'all doing alright today? All my fans, my 45 subscribers. I appreciate every one of y'all uh, liking and subscribing my content. And, uh, and uh, he just wants to say appreciate it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, stuff. And to uh, say, just look at the beautiful outdoors, man. Pretty, ain't it? It's a nice day out. Uh, let's say. They set my old phone down here. Well, anyway, it says uh, it's showing not 91. And uh, Sims, Texas, it's showing 91. It's, it feels like 99. Uh, let's see what it's going to be tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be 93. Hot. But uh, anyway, yeah. I don't mad. I'm going to do anything. I don't mad. I'm going to do any, anything, anything else today. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm through for today. I was telling about that damn car. I had to wait. That car, uh, that car oil. Change and I have to wait till tomorrow. He can get his ass out there in that scalding bald heat and change it because I ain't gonna do, do no more oil changing or nothing today. I done come here and mop the whole house and uh, and uh, and all that. And this fat, but this old boy is probably fishing to get in there and get in there. This old boy is probably fishing to get him a little old. Let me see here. Let me line it up for y'all. It's probably if it's get in there and get him a little ham hop or this kayak, long cut with a green and get in, and I go in there and get on that couch right in there and uh and lay back and lay and lay back, you know, watch a little TV and take it easy. I've been going at it all day, done been to town twice. Cause give me no hog nut and I'll talk to y'all for me. Let me put my glasses up. I'll lay them, I'll lay them down. Hey, don't know my damn fucking shit. Maybe my damn scared. But, uh, yeah, I've been, done been to town twice today. Oh, yeah, by the way. R R H E C. Raise hell. Eat cornbread. Raise hell and eat cornbread, y'all. Yee yeah. But anyway, yeah, done been to town twice today. It's a good, that's a good size hog. But yeah, I've been to town twice today, two times. First time I went out there, I had to get the parts to get my AC back going. He said it was a uh, was uh, the AC line. He said it was the AC AC. He said it was the AC line. I don't know what he's talking about. Cause I ain't never done uh, AC work on a, on a, on a, on a pickup a car or nothing that. But uh, he said it was a. Was a AC line. Let me set y'all down. Said it was an AC line. Said it was a. Said it was a. Said it was a line about about that long with two little old silver ends. One on each end. One silver end on uh, one end. Another on the other end. Said it was a. Said it was that. Cause he called my dad down there. My dad went down and looked. He said, Yeah, that, it was leaking there. So he's gonna put that shit on tomorrow. And uh, he's gonna free on it up, and, and uh, he's gonna see if that's gonna be the problem. I said it was leaking there regardless. So if, if if it don't stay cold after that, then uh, I don't know. But but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. He's gonna go ahead and put that hose on and go ahead and get it free on up, and uh, go ahead and get it free on up, and uh, and every time he's gonna go ahead and put that hose on, get all up free on up, and and get it get it ready to go. And all that, bro. And all that, and uh, one thing I got to ask y'all is when I'm on the front facing camera on my no date, is there any way I can switch it around while I'm while I'm taking a video? I remember no date sent me a, a video, 
And uh, I got on front facing camera. Is there any way while I'm recording, I got on front facing camera while I'm recording, is there any way that I can switch it from a front facing camera to the uh, rear camera and still be recording? I I'm just curious. Y'all leave me a comment down, down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll have my old truck going tomorrow and, I and I'll get all that 2012 Chevy Cruze. Could I tell y'all how what happened? My phone bill was due, and I jumped in uh, in my truck, turned, and I jumped the truck and turned the air on wide open, and it was warming and it was cooling off. Well, the truck was warming up, and the air was getting cool. Started getting cool, and it got uh, man, it's blowing good. I got all the way out. To, I jumped on the interstate, went went to Red River Bank, which was about uh, which was about. Uh, 20 minutes away from here, run to the bank, got to the bank, put my money in the bank. <sighs> took the scenic, took the country road, all the way back to the house, to my grandma's house. And I was going to check up on them, see how my grandpa did. And anyway, I got back, killed it. But, and I killed it, my mama said, I don't know if I'd run home, because she walked down there to her grandma, to her, to her mama's. She walked down there to her mama's. I said, yeah, I'll carry home. She don't live but like a, not, not even four, not, not, not even about a minute up the road. And I said, yeah, I'll carry you up there. I carried her up there. And then I said, hell, I'm going to the house. And she said, oh. so I got to start out to the house. And uh, when I did, my air conditioning, my air conditioning went, Loot! it went to blowing hot. And so I, that's what happened to my air conditioner. That's why it started blow, blowing hot. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what made it blow hard. It, it, it just sprung late. It, 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 all of a sudden it just sprung late. But uh, it need to hurry up and uh, it need to hurry up and uh, get back blowing cool because because that car's got good cool I say. My truck needs to get, I need to get my truck back to the because I'm just more used to driving a truck. I can drive that car, but I'm just used to driving a truck. You know, once you drive a truck all your life, and then then you switch when, when your truck tears up and you switch from a truck to a damn car, it's a lot lot different. Switching from a truck to a car, you know, after you drive an old truck. But my truck ain't jacked up, ain't got a lift on nothing, it's all stock. Everything's stock on it, everything's stock on it besides the tires. I, my, my dad had a had an old, old uh, 2015 Chevrolet truck, and uh, and uh, and uh, he got rid of it, he sold it. He took, he took the 18, 18 inch uh, rims and tires off of it. And sold the truck, and uh, he took the 18 inch rims and tars off of it, and put something else on some other kind of rims and tars off of it. And he put the rims around back, around back behind the shop. <coughs> and then I got me a, then I got me a 2003 Chevrolet Silverado single cab Z71 four wheel drive work truck, and uh, and then I went ahead and uh, and I had and uh, and uh, at the time I went and bought me some. Uh, some 16, some, move guys, I went and bought me some 16 inch, uh, 16, I had some 16 cut custom, uh, when I bought the truck, it come with a, it come with 16 inch, uh, custom, uh, aftermarket rims on it, and so I went ahead and, uh, and, and it had tires on it, and I went ahead and run them tires bald, well I didn't run them bald, I wanted me some mudders, and, and the truck that my cousin had at the time had crosswind MTs on it, so I went ahead and put, uh, so I went ahead and went out of town, bought me some crosswind uh, MTs, and I run them down uh, 16 inch crosswind MTs, put them on them custom rims, and I went ahead and run them down to about, uh, to about 50% tread. And I said, hell, and I said, hell, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up two more sizes on rims, and I went around back, and I, and I said, I wanna go, I wanted to make my truck look good, so I went around back, well, it looked good with the aftermarket rims on it, but, I went around back and put them, uh, put them Chevrolet, them 18 six hole Chevrolet rims on it. And when, I, when I'm talking about Chevrolet, they, they, they the one that comes when you get them off the dealership that had the Chevrolet symbol on them. Yeah, so that's what I went ahead and put, put on my truck, some 18 street tires. Cause I said, hell, well, I said, hell, I ain't never, it's a four wheel drive and stuff, but I ain't never gonna put that fucking truck in four wheel drive. I mean, I don't go nowhere to town and back. And to my grandma's house and back, and to my brother's house and back, stuff like that. I ain't never gonna get in the fucking mud. And if I do get in the mud, I'll, I'll use four wheel drive. But I ain't never gonna get in the mud. So I said, hell, I'll just put them old street tires on it, on it. And that's all I'll, pro I'll probably ever put on it. After I run these street tires out, I'll probably put me a set of some kind of all terrains on it. 
Y'all just let me know in the description box below uh, what kind of uh, uh, what's the best all terrain and and uh, for 18 William and and, and 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 that's all I'm gonna probably gonna put on my old truck is a set of all terrains. I ain't gonna mud. I ain't I ain't gonna get that old truck in the mud, you know. And heck, I ain't never gonna put that old truck in the mud. It's just gonna be an old daily driver. Cause once you start, once you start putting your truck in a little mud, and that's when stuff's gonna start going out on it. You're gonna have problems with it. Well, with it. Cause I done been through that. I done been through all that. Cause I used to mud four wheelers. And after I tore t two good four wheelers up, but being a jackass. And I ain't gonna do that no more. So, yeah, so. That's why I ain't gonna put my old truck in the mud. Uh, old truck, old truck in the mud. What, well, and, uh, and then I might, I might go ahead and uh, put me some, uh, I'm gonna put some all trains on it. But later on down the road, when I come into a little money, when I can get me a little money, I'd like to put a lift on it. But now I ain't even gonna do nothing to that old truck. Scratch that. I ain't gonna do nothing to that old truck. I'm just gonna put me some all terrains on it, some 18 inch all terrain tires on it. And I might put me a little, I might put me some wheel spacers on it, space my wheels out a little. Or something. I, but I ain't, I'm probably just gonna leave that old truck stock and just keep driving it, uh, stop. Keep driving to the town and back, Walmart and back and stuff, stop. But anyway, <clears throat> that's Southern Fatty Packers. He's gonna come on here and make a little old video for y'all. And then I guess he's out, y'all.